Namir holding now checks in the game in the backfield. It's easy to say he's a oh he's a he's a diversion. Well, he's gonna try again. Same play. Oh, oh the pass and the Did the on defender the play, get there like. a bit early? It looks like he did. I got to tell you, Mr. Ref, with the score of 30 to 0 in the exhibition it's game. Charles uh, Artis. There's two flags out. I guess both refs saw that, huh? Roanoke fans unhappy with the call, but last yes, game, Charlotte be. fell victim to some couple of very bad calls in Dallas. Oh, yeah. They absolutely. ended up losing the game 18 14, but they had a touchdown called back and. Dallas scored a touchdown when the receiver was clearly out of bounds, so certainly understand the frustration that comes with a bad call. Here comes the blitz. Wallace to his right, trying to get one more score before halftime. And he does. Touchdown, Rodriguez. In the yellow shoot man. Slippers. Carlos Rodriguez. Rodriguez is on the board. That is first or second of the day? This is first of the day. Right. As he waves to the crowd after his celebration dance. You look here on the replay. You see Wallace rolls out to the right. He sees the man and in between two defenders just get the ball shoestrings in there for a touchdown to Rodriguez. Heck of a pass. Heck of a catch. Do you have a replay monitor in your head? Because I'd like to see it. I was just wondering if you had a photographic point memory. Is good. Oh, yeah. Something like that. I'm Only for good things. First and 15 for Odell on the offense. And off up the middle, it's Hardy again. He drops the ball, recovered, and it will remain Rowan Oak ball. That was. Clock still tick, tick, ticking here. Looks like I lost the ball there. I didn't see who recovered it, but. Updating news on our concessions. Thank you for the proceeds over there, but the concessions remain open. And just to announce that it's going to be two for one. Right, two for one purchase over the concessions. Stop in and get some snacks, hot dogs, cold drinks, and that's where we're accepting donations for the fourth annual Heroes Bowl with the proceeds to benefit the families of those in need. Now under also, if you want to buy those four and a half minutes. They're five dollars at the concession stand. Second and now about nineteen yards. Odell up the middle <laughs> complete. It is caught. Number 42 on the defense, Steve Gray. McElhaney. From Nate Odell to Sanders. It's going to be third down. And he's able to take the hit and hold on to the football. Number 42, Steve Graham. We laid a great tackle there on the guy. Coming out of the huddle with some confidence, Roanoke. So on third down, Roanoke's. Defense was able to hold. Let's see if their offense could convert. As the fans chant, let's go offense. They're lined up, shotgun, three wideouts. Odell's deep. It's time. Oh, oh. Almost complete. By number 80. Looks like, was it 80? Sanders? Yeah. So Lemmy Sanders gets a hand on it. Was almost able to come down with it. Looked like he would have had enough of the first down. Definitely wasn't Instead a lack of it's effort. It's going to be fourth. Are they going to go for it here? I think they have no choice, Kim, but to go for it. They're going to punt the ball. Well. All right, fourth down for Roto. In the punt. It's going to be George Jackson. Looks like they are. Virginia Tech Police Department. They're appearing. Punt, another bounce snap. Oh, that's Button not typically good. what you would normally do. Th get rid of it. Bad snap, but possession maintained. It's going to be Charlotte Cobra's ball on the 25 yard line. 
Well, I know in the off season, finding a long snapper is going to be a priority for Seven Oak Rampage. Yeah, absolutely, I think they're going to have an audition for him. <coughs> long snappers here shortly. Well, the silver lining for Roanoke is that they've held Charlotte scoreless thus far in the third quarter with now under three minutes left. See if they can keep it up. Ooh. Careless pass by Wallace there right among four Roanoke defenders. Looked like he was trying for Big Charles Artis. Bring up now second and ten. As the Panthers come out, 30 yards from goal line. Wallace to Holding. Wow, he's quick. Mere Holding is just leaving these guys. Oh, Goodness my God. Gracious. Combination of power and speed. Just this guy five Rona is players. Special. Let's go to the replay. Had a chance to tackle him, and he just danced through all of them. From handoff, two guys had him. He Incredible. ran straight through those guys. Yeah. Dip, dab, spit, mm -hmm. shake and bake. <laughs> High stepped his way to the end zone like it was just no problem at all. Watching this game makes you wonder how any other teams were able to stop him. Well, actually, no other teams really didn't stop no, him not, all season. Not completely. <laughs> yeah, not completely. And again, what a special talent this guy is. That shows you how special this one guy is when you put him out there on the field. He really stands out above the rest. Taking nothing away from any of the other guys here. Absolutely. Extra points good. It's going to be 44 nothing. Charlotte Cobras. Looks like they have a few of their starters out of the game. Mike Morley with the run, his first carry of the day, and he converts the first down. Now under 14 minutes left in this ball game. Looks like they're expanding the depth chart, giving the starters a break, giving everyone a chance to play. Is that Morley again? This time the swarm gets him at about the 32. Another run by Mike Marley, but a good stop by the well known defensive line. Number 95, Rock Windle checks into the game to play nose tackle. He looks like a big rock. Second and six. As Kenny Davis awaits the snap on the shotgun. He's going to take off again. Wow, is he fast. Makes a few moves, and he's going to go all the way. A 32-yard run wow. by Kenny Davis of the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office. Results in a touchdown. Incredible burst of speed by Kenny Davis. Very Amir Holding-like on a similar run from earlier. And that's going to be half a century. 50 to nothing is the score. Pinning the extra point. And you can't blame head coach at 11. He did take his starters out, but the second string just marched right down the field. Kick is... Up and good. Another fine extra point. The snap by Joe Ryan. Scores 51 nothing. Charlotte Cobras. 